would like to invite Yatin Mehta for commentary, co comments. Thank you, Dr. Vitekem. I think very well conducted large multicenter with cl cluster randomization European uh, ICUs, although the ICUs in the, from the southern Europe were a bit, bit less. Negative study, but important study. Uh, why does it differ from the previous studies? If you look at uh, Sanchez Ramirez's study and Plantinga's meta analysis, uh, well, Sanchez's uh, uh, paper had a 9.5% as uh, ESBL incidence uh, compared to uh, uh, your so 5% and between 5 and 10. Um, also, the amount of uh, antibiotics which are used has not been specified, but I'm sure that that can be taken care of because that may make a difference. And uh, obviously, the study ended when the extubation happened, while in the other studies, it continued till the patient stayed in the ICU. That would have probably uh, made a difference. But it's a very significant study. Um, also, I mean, uh, although VRE, you mentioned gram-negative infection, you mentioned, but not MRSA, because probably MRSA incidence also may go up if you have too much of gram-negative uh, cover in the uh, oral uh, antibiotics. So, it differs. Also, it uh, agrees with the DESHEP's uh, recent study of chlorhexidine, how it increases the mortality uh, in patients uh, with low risk of mortality uh, and getting less than 300 milligrams of oral uh, uh, rinse with chlorhexidine. So it's similar to that. I think it's an important study, and we need to all pause and think whether we need to either continue with the practice of STD and SOD, if you're not doing it, whether we should really, really start it. So very good study. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you.